Hey, uh, I don't want to frame this in any way, and it's always fun to have people outside the market uh, who know the game and study the game, and in this case, you get to call it again on Sunday. Just tell me from your perspective, how's Geno playing? Well, it's it's really these last few games. Um, the you know his big thing last year was was taking care of the football and managing the misses, and um, it, it's almost like this uh, mentality of of um, even if you don't convert on some of the third downs, like you, you get the completion and you're close and you at least have an opportunity to potentially go for it on fourth down. And like the momentum doesn't totally shift and all that, like the sacks, the turnovers, the negative plays that the crowd erupts for it. It's real. They're really piling up where last year he was in a groove of, you know, those ho-hum plays on third down, maybe we convert, maybe we don't, but like, okay, we're punting, we're kicking an extra point, we're kicking a field goal at the end of every drive, and there's not these big emotional turns in the game. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just getting difficult to manage. You know, when you give the ball away like that, uh, it puts your defense in a tough spot, and and he's, you know, going through some of those those growing pains as a starter in this league. So um, I, I think, you know, Smith and Jigba can take a little pressure off him. You saw the pick when he threw, I want to say it was like bottom of the screen uh, to his left with Lockett, like before the play, they're calling some at the line of scrimmage and Lockett's looking over. So there's some sort of communication issue. And you know that he's trying to throw it to him and then he's not ready. They're clearly on the wrong page and, uh, and, and they can't communicate. They can't connect. And there it goes to the other team. So I think you avoided a lot of those plays last year. Um, and this year, you know, they're, they're finding a way onto the tape. So it's, we we'll keep watching it, and, and you keep um, you keep grinding. You know, Coach Carroll's not going to just like ditch him. He's got to figure out a way to make it work, and and he makes plenty of good splash plays, and there's plenty of talent. So I think a lot of it comes down to those first and second down plays, getting him into third and manageable, and just making excellent decisions with the football. And once again, I, I think he's shiftier than he realizes. He's faster than he realizes. Yep. The dude can run like he can steal two to three first downs a game. And those are just killers for defense, and it helps your third down uh, percentage. So uh, I think that's where he's got to grow a little bit. We're talking with Mark Sanchez. He'll be on the call for Fox on Sunday for the Seahawks game. Uh, We know you go back uh, to the college days at USC with Pete. Is there anything, Mark, uh, a a story, a a moment, something? Was Will Ferrell, did he make a cameo at a practice at any point uh, when you go back (laughs) to your college days? Yeah, he absolutely did. I remember one of the guys on our team, uh, I think it was Greg Farr, maybe? He had a motorcycle, and it was right when Talladega Nights was coming out. And so they, I remember walking past this motorcycle on the way into the team meeting, into our team meeting room. And I was like, that's kind of weird. Why did they park that there? Well, we go into a team meeting, and it's supposed to be during training camp, and this is our freshman year of, of football at SC. And um, he, all I hear is this engine rev. And no coaches are up there. And then two guys run down in full NASCAR uniforms. And I hear this engine rev again. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? And, you know, people are looking around. And it's very Coach Carroll. At this point, you know, he's canceled the practice and sent us over to the pool. And we're jumping off the high dive in the Olympic pool before. So we know Coach is spontaneous. I just didn't know it was like this. (laughs) And him and Will Ferrell are in these full NASCAR outfits. And we canceled our meeting and ran over to the theater on campus during training camp and went to go watch a premiere of Talladega Nights. And Will Ferrell was with us. So it was pretty cool, man. Yeah, like he he just had this way about him of of keeping it fresh, keeping it fun, and um, mixing it up a little bit, not being afraid to show your personality within, you know, the confines of the team and and the goals of the team and the rules of the team. But to uh, let your personality shine, and that's what that's what sets him apart. And you know, I, it's it's interesting because I don't envy his position, especially you know, college guys. They're eighteen to twenty two, and you can, you know, they're more impressionable. You know, they want to learn. There's there's this desire to to kind of figure out their own identity, and they're still searching for stuff. Well, a lot of these guys in the NFL, like, yeah, you know, they're married, they got kids, they have a pretty you know good sense of themselves, and so for coach to like mix it up like that now. And that takes a lot of effort and a lot of, um, you know, planning and preparation. And he's got to constantly mix it up so some of these veteran guys don't feel like, oh, man, I heard this. Uh-huh.